Hi, Ellen Nikki. Uh, first of all, our home cartoonist made this drawing of you. Um, <laughs> oh my god! Great! <laughs> Look at us! I think that uh, reaction thank is you. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, thank you oh. so much. That's mine. <laughs> great. Okay. I'm make a copy of it. You know? <laughs> Great, thank you. Don't fight for it, just uh, share it. With thank you. <laughs> Thanks just a lot. Share it. Like <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, how were the first rehearsals? Uh, first uh, two rehearsals, you mean? First two rehearsals. Oh. First, uh, it's nice. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great. We had a first rehearsal on 2nd of May, and uh, we had on four days after it. We just tried to make it better for today. I think it was. It was. It, yeah. it was it. It was a lot of affects the sound and uh, the lights that was nice how do you how do you feel about it I feel great I'm so happy <laughs> <laughs> did it take some time to get used to the stage it's it's huge and the, the arena is, is quite big as well it is huge and it's amazing and uh, all I can say is you know the first time when I saw it I was like wow you know, I can't say that I, like I'm scared or I'm mm -hmm. running scared <laughs> or <laughs> you know, stage. I feel scared or, you know, I really worry when I go on a stage. To be honest, all I feel is it's just I'm enjoying to be on that stage. Yeah, but as for me, it's like it's beautiful. Yeah, as for me, it's like it was like five or ten minutes to to get used to the stage because, you know, it was a maybe uh, it's um, that's why, because it was like mm, the biggest dream of my life, you know, to be on a biggest stage in front of a lot of people, and um, especially in front of you know Eurovision fans and uh, Eurovision Song Contest uh, s stage. That's why it was like you know, I felt better. Yeah. I felt good. Mm -hmm. How did the two of you meet? Uh, we met oh, yeah. on a national s selection. Yeah, you yeah. know, we had a national selection. There was seventy-seven of us and. Uh, after all, in the final, we, we were five, and they said that, you know, the judges... They, they decided to create duo, and they oh. choose us. They, You'll be guys! And there was a match instantly between the two of you. You matched perfectly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, from the beginning, we had difficulties in that way that he loves the ballad songs, I love more R&B style, and uh, we never sang together, I never sang before in duo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but slowly, slowly, you know, no, first of all, is when we heard that song, we was just like, wow. Yeah, we don't care about R&B yeah. or uh, other ballads. Like, we just no R&B singer. <laughs> <laughs> we just love this thing. Um, Eldar, you lived or you studied in Germany, am I right? Yeah, I uh, studied. How did you end up here? What do you mean? What is uh, up here? How did you get here in Germany? Oh yeah, um, we had a summer courses here in 2004 and 2008. Um, me and the other guys, you know, from uh, from all the countries in Europe and uh, uh, Asia, from America, uh, we were here, and, um, and not in Düsseldorf exactly, but in uh, Frankfurt in 2008 and uh, in Fourth it was, you know, like uh, Berlin. Uh, then comes. Well, Köln, uh, Munich, and the other uh, s uh, cities. So your German is perfect by now. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I just um, I have a problem because uh, in Baku I have not uh, I haven't found a people who speaks German so fluently, you know, or German people uh, for to make my uh, German more so fluently, mm -hmm. and I'm forgetting it. But I'm trying to uh, to speak German with teachers I will help and so him on. Not to forget. <laughs> German, <laughs> I'm sure about that. Is this like a home match for you? Um, w w what you uh, since since you uh, have been a lot in in Germany uh, already, does it feel like like oh. it's it's a home match? So you have the advantage of like playing at home uh, in this Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah, it feels like you know it's like a second arm. Um, Azerbaijan has always finished in the top 10 since the debut in 2008. Does it bring a lot of pressure? Um, yeah. No. I can't talk about we pressure now. I mean, we will see it on semi-final. <laughs> yeah, it's not a pressure. We're just trying to make a, our show, our uh, performance well. And we don't think about any places because it's like, uh, you know, so many people can say that someone will win uh, the competition, and after it will uh, it will be you know vice versa. That's why we're not we're not we, we don't we don't we want to predict it. For us, we're just living in our dream now. That's all we can say. Yeah, <laughs> that's 
sounds positive. Um, <laughs> Running scared sounds very modern. Um, who are your influences? Our influences of Running scared. Yeah, d d uh, your idols. Uh, yourself of us um, you know about the singers you talk you, you yeah. about the singer yeah, world famous singers who is it artist perhaps who's the artist who's your uh, idol my idol Rihanna in the Eurovision or in the whole world in general yeah. wow well, my favorite one is I think is Rihanna Jennifer Lopez Beyonce mm -hmm. yeah mine is um, Celine Dion then comes Lara Fabian, uh, Lady then it's, Gaga. yeah, of course, Lady Gaga, and, you know, <laughs> the last times she's, she's, you know, she's really great, she, she does the kind of things, I, I, I couldn't ever imagine that someone will do that on the stage, you know, but she's perfect, I love her. Uh, you recorded two music videos for Running Scared, why is that? First was just demo. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was like a uh, representative video, you okay. know. Hey guys, look at us. That's and the uh, second one is official video. Okay. Um, will you keep performing as a duo in the future? We'll try to do some kind of songs, but we don't promise. <laughs> yes, the f f first, first thing what I want to do is just to go back to London, to cut to my daughters, to spend as much as time I can spend, you know. Yeah. There are no plans for an album together or something like that? Not for now. I mean, at, at the moment we still concentrate uh, on the revision. Mm -hmm. There are a few days to get in, and we're just thinking about it. Um, Eldar, as you said before, you dream of participating in Eurovision for a long time. How did that ambition grow? Because, you know, um, I went here and I saw all the situation here, all the lovely people and the cameras and so on. I, I really love it. It, that's why I'm living, you know, that's what I'm living for, uh, that's what I'm singing for. It's like a biggest, you know, here it's like a biggest family, you know, we can talk to all of the... Happy family. Yeah. Like everyone is so happy. Yeah, the journalists so friendly. are really friendly, yeah. yeah. But when did the passion for Eurovision start? Uh, when, when did that happen in your life? When? Yeah. Oh, in, in Millennium, I think, in 2000s. Yeah. Yeah, that's for her. Me, Why in 2000? Uh, I think it's the first time they start. I think showing or on yeah. uh, Russian channel. It's the first time I, I saw the contest. Saw it me, yeah, and um, I remember that Alsu she was representing uh, Russia, and uh, she was back to those days. She was my favorite singer, so that's how. And she was like, my oh, dream. I want to be, I want to be like you on the stage. <laughs> 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 uh, you probably heard all the other songs by now. Uh, which one are, are your favorites? It's a typical question, but we have to ask it. <laughs> it's, you know, there are a lot of songs. Oh, lots of songs. It's Sweden, Malta, then uh, One Second 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 is... Um, it's UK, it's Germany, yes, it's, it's amazing. Uh, uh, Croatia, uh, San Marino. Uh, Norway, I like Do it. Do we say Malta? Well. It's, it's yes, great. Yes, the Malta, yes. Then the Croatians. Yeah, the girl is so yeah. great. They're really interesting. Like Sweden and then Israel. Slovakia, I think. Is yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. Many favorites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, um, this year is it's a strong year, I think, because uh, every song is like, it's very powerful and. Um, Such a drive. Yeah. <laughs> Have you made, uh, made any friends here by now? Yes. 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 Not in Düsseldorf, but. Uh, yeah, when we were in the Oh, okay. Uh, who did you have an immediate uh, good connection with? With Malta. Yeah. In Malta, Malta, then... Malta, the Glenn, uh, Glenn. Glenn? Yes. Uh, then uh, uh, Ukrainian, Mika Newton. Yeah. Uh, then girl from Austria as well. Yeah, from Croatia. Yeah, from Croatia. Uh, Daria. Um, uh, then comes... Who was there? Turkey, good guys from Turkey. Yeah, we met um, here. Think. Yeah, oh, and blue, of and course. Blue, 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 yeah. Yes, with one of them, we are uh, even neighbors in London. <laughs> <laughs> we met in Kiev, in Ukraine. Okay. Okay. Guys, thank you, thanks a lot. Uh, we wish you the best of luck and have a great, great time here in Dusseldorf. Good luck to you too. Thank you guys. Thanks.